Hello and welcome to the Adam and Val YouTube channel. If someone mentions to you the greatest, you're thinking Muhammad Ali. You're thinking Mary Berry. You're thinking Ronnie O'Sullivan. Lewis Hamilton. Michael Jordan. Messi. You're thinking people are the greatest in their chosen field. They're the people you're thinking of. I've released a product that will be available in all shops, but I'm also gonna show you how to make it in this video. And it's just called, this is the final retail product, by the way, the, the retail packaging, it's all done. It's called The Greatest. The Greatest, because it's the greatest in its chosen field. Let me quickly, I don't know what to do, I don't know if it's one, I'll undo it, I'll undo it and then I'll show you how to make it because it's really simple and it's the greatest chocolate bar ever, ever. It's the, when you mention the greatest, this is up there, this is the finished product, look this. Let's open this up and see what you get in the greatest, not only by its sheer size of a chocolate bar, but just by what it looks like and tastes. Here we go, let's open up the first opening. Remember, in a few minutes I will show you how to make it and I'll be a bit more serious, but at the moment I'm having fun. So here we go with the greatest. I'm gonna open it up. There's no nutritional values on it, there's nothing. You get none of that mumbo jumbo that no one breeds. It's just got two words on it, the and greatest. That is it, and some swiggles. That is it, it's not telling you nothing else. You don't need to know nothing else. So let's open this. You've got recyclable paper. When you peel that off like that, you've got your recyclable foil. You ready? Are you ready? You've got to be sitting down. You've got to be ready. Oh, <laughs> The greatest chocolate biscuit chocolate bar right there. We've got bourbons, we've got cookies, we've got nice, we've got custard cream, we've got chocolate digestive, we've got sprinkles of chocolate crumbs right there. We've got, what's that, a malted milk. Look at it, in white chocolate. You could do this in dark chocolate, but there it is there. Right, so let's go serious for a bit. I will show you quickly how to make this because it's really simple. And like I said, you could just need a bundle of biscuits, any biscuits, you need some sort of dish. I'll just use this. And you can just lay something down the bottom so it's easy to pull out, like foil, cling film, etc. So it's just easy to lift out. And then you just put it in the fridge. So you want a melty chocolate. I will show you this, melty chocolate. You can use any color chocolate you want. Really dark cocoa one. You can use really cheap chocolate like I did in this because otherwise it would have been a lot of chocolate to, to use. You could even use ruby chocolate if you're one of them ruby chocolate lovers. And there we go. And you just set your biscuits in and you put it in the fridge. So let's show you that video now and then we'll come back and I'll taste the greatest chocolate bar of all time.
So you go, you saw how easy it was to make. It's literally a case of melting the chocolate. You've got two options here. You can melt it in the microwave, give it a little 30 second burst and stir it every few often, or pull it over the hob, the old jewel burner with the water underneath in a glass bowl and a pan, all that sort of business. And that's it, that's it. It's really solid. This was, I think, five chocolate bars, but then really cheap chocolate bars I used, I think, from Morrison's or somewhere, with like 30p a bar. So it's not cost much to do this chocolate bar. You can use any chocolate you like. Solid, it's really set nicely. The biscuits are lovely in there. They ain't falling out. Look, the only thing that's falling out is some of them bits of chocolate dust. That's chocolate dust that I put on there. So I'm gonna break a bit off and I'm gonna taste this. Bourbon, look at it, I don't wanna, I don't wanna break a bit off to be honest with you I just want to leave it like that and it needs to go in like the tape gallery just like that modern tape gallery on the wall like that and we're done but I'm gonna have to taste it or it wouldn't be a video but I don't want to so before I do taste it here's some quick close-up views of this So I'm gonna break some of this off. No one's never had a ball, but no one's had nothing like this before. Let's break a bit off. I don't know how it's gonna break. Yeah, oh look, it's broke lovely. So I've broke the bourbon off, and there we go, right there. I thought it was gonna crack for some reason. So look at that, we've got bourbon biscuit sitting in white chocolate. Look at that. Poor Hollywood would say, that's a good bake, even though I never baked anything. Let's taste it. Oh. Mm. I'll tell you what, being serious, a bourbon really goes nicely with some white chocolate behind it. It's the two, you got the two textures. You got, you got like a cream sort of stuff in a bourbon, you got the chocolate biscuit, and then you've got the white chocolate, creamy white chocolate, and that cheap chocolate, white chocolate, it's not too bad, you know. Oh. Ten out of ten, it's the greatest. It is the greatest. Use any biscuits. If you want, you could even put fruit on it. I don't know why you would, but you could. It's ten out of ten. It's also a lot of fun if you want to make it with the kids. In that video I used, my daughter actually made it. I was there. I was helping a little bit, but she made it. So, yeah. Subscribe to Adam and Val for more greatness. That do.